Hey loves, it's Janaya Ancha and I'm back again with another video. In this video, I'm just going to be showing you guys my full lock routine, my updated one, how I do it now, the faster, easier way, the do's and don'ts, what works for me, what doesn't, because I've been doing it for a long time on myself. If you guys like this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. It's free. And thank you guys so much for returning. As always, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Okay, so first you start off with some freshly washed hair. It's all nice and fresh and it's washed. My first tip is to start off with some really dry hair, like no product. Blow dry it, like put your heat protectant. I use the Mongongo oil heat thermal heat, whatever, from Mayel or Miel. I don't know how you pronounce it, but yes. Do not put any other additional oils or leave in conditioners in your hair if you're not good at braiding because your fingers will slip. Do that after it's all finished braiding. You can just um, oil the scalp and then you could put a little bit of leave in treatment on the braids themselves. I'm just gonna braid my hair and I'll be right back. I'm back and it's partially braided. Partially, just partially. I left out this row. I don't want you guys to be able to see it. I know it's a lot of braids, but with this full lock you have to have a lot of braids because it'll tend to look really scarce like you will look like you only have two pieces of locks in your head and you want it to look nice and full i'm gonna braid up this last piece and i'm gonna come back and i'm gonna show you guys how i lock it and i'm probably gonna do the back and then come to the front so you guys can see up and close Okay, so now I'm gonna grease the scalp. And y'all know how this goes already. Greasing your scalp is imperative. That's one of my duels also. We gotta put split end therapy on the ends of the braids. That's just a must. Before this was gonna be an extended full lock tutorial, it was going to be an extended full lock tutorial and then I figured why not just buy a long length this is the hair that I use by the way uh, the Bobby Boss faux locks um, soft locks and I seen that they had a 24 inch usually I would connect like two 18s or like two 14s you know to get a longer length but I don't really like long faux locks like that and then when you wrap it it gets a little longer the reason why I do not like long full locks is I don't like it to go in the toilet and stuff like that. But in this video, I will be showing you guys how to extend it if you want it to extend it. And if you if your store only had like a 14 or if they only had 18 and you wanted it to be a little longer, I will show you how to extend it. But I'm just going to stick with the 24. I bought myself four packs of the 24. And I have a couple packs of 18s from when I did it before. So in case of emergency, in case I run out of the 24 inch, I would just extend those and then cut them to the length of the 24. I'm just going to do the entire back and then when I reach the front, I'm going to show you guys in detail how I crochet the lock in, how I um, would extend it if I was extending it, how I uh, wrap the hair and what I wrap it with. I wrap it with passion twist hair this was the only passion twist hair that they had in the store this brand i never tried it's called nala trust by janet and it's just passion twist spread i only bought two packs because as you can see these passion twists are like fairly chunky so you basically you um cut it in half and that will be enough for one lock what else i have to tell y'all nothing really i'm just going to do this and then when i get to the front i'm going to show y'all in detail it's going to be zoomed in it's going to be you know very detailed tutorial this today so this is like days after i'm just wearing the same top because i washed it i bought four packs of the 24 and i still have a little bit more left so if you have a head that's my size then that will be perfect for you so i'm not going to lie to you guys i know this one is the most popular one but I rather this one. It's the Born Locks by Janet. It's just 
more natural looking to me. I'm, I'm gonna do like a little comparison. This is how it looks in the pack. And it just feels a little coarser. I like that feeling. As for the Bobby Boss here, I always say Bobby Boss. It's softy. So it's like, it looks a little less natural when you wrap it. Like this one with the wrapping, it blends in more. So next time I know, even though it's a dollar more, it's worth it. It is definitely worth it to go ahead and buy the Born Locks. But if you have the Bobby Boss, and you've seen people use it because I know everybody uses this one then go ahead and use it and to wrap it I ended up using water wave hair that I had from doing my own passion twist like this is a pre-made passion twist and this is the hair that I used to do my own passion twist like when I twisted it myself and I find that this one looks a little bit too how do I explain that it looks too rough this one is nice and soft and it blends in perfectly with the texture of my hair Cause I like it to match with the texture of my hair because my texture is kind of soft so this one is a little bit too coarse but I still used it towards the ends so basically I undid the passion twist you just undo it and you do it very gently you undo the entire passion twist so these are the ones that this is what I use for the back I didn't use the water wave here for the back because you can't really see it so yeah and then I cut it in half and then I might do like another half and then just use this to wrap the roots of the hair, the passion twist. For the front, I'm going to be showing you guys with the water wave hair because this is what looks better to me, in my opinion. So these are the last four braids that I have to do. Y'all see them? The four at the top. I put in four locks in all of these. The braids are just not extended. This is the only one where I'm just going to show you guys like the full process. So... So I'm going to do this step by step so you guys can see. If you have any questions, just make sure you leave it in the comment section below. This is just a step-by-step -step tutorial. And then after, I'm going to show you guys how you can extend it if you would want to extend it. So I take this little faux lock, right? And there's a loop at the end of the faux lock. There's one end with a loop. And there's one end that's just, you know, the end of the lock. So I hold my finger in the loop. And then I have my single braid. Let me push all of this in the back so you guys can just focus on the single braid. So this is the single braid that I have left to put a full lock into. This is it. Alright, so I go into the braid. And it doesn't matter which way you go, I usually go sideways. So now my needle is in the braid. I take the loop of the full lock, I put it on the loop of the needle. And I close the needle. Simple. And then I pull in the lock and take out the needle. So now you take the loop of the full lock again and you grab the rest of the lock, the end of it, and you push it into the loop. And you pull. I don't pull too tight because I have no edges already. My edges fell out, so I just pull a little bit. And here you go. Now that I have the lock into the braid, right? You can see that it's separated, but you can also see that it's intertwined, 100% intertwined. Okay. I know some people, they just go ahead and they just take this and twist around the braid and the lock, right? I don't do that. I think that it makes it more bulky at the, at the root. In order for it not to look bulky, because I don't like that bulky look, I like it to look flat, I put the braid into the lock. It's so simple. I just kind of undo the lock a little bit, open it up, slide the braid in, right? And keep going. Opening up the lock a little bit, putting the braid in, right? Opening up the lock a little bit, putting the braid in, you know? And keep going until you reach the end of the braid. So opening up the lock and putting the braid in. Just so you can conceal the braid. Because I don't want my hair to ever be out when I have it. And then I just twist it back. As if it's one lock. Right? You see? So now the braid is perfectly into the lock. You cannot see the braid where it was. Um, it's not visible to you anymore. It's just into the lock. But you see when you start to open up the lock, it kind of gets puffy. So that's where the wrapping comes in. So now I have one piece of passion twist hair. It doesn't matter what size you use. I use a little, I just use a little bit. This is probably gonna be too much 
take some out of that so i take my my water wave here right and i do the same thing i loop it in close the loop put it in and i have a little tiny tiny piece right here and then i have my longer piece right here so i take the longer piece and i start to wrap but i wrap in the way that makes the faux lock tighten back so the faux lock has a natural way that it goes and you go the natural way this is the natural way of the lock this way but every lock is different so i'm going to wrap in the natural way of the lock to make it more tight let's put this braid back so i do a little bit at the root you know gotta conceal it and then i go down but i make sure that it's not too tight y'all see that it's not too tight at all so you keep twisting until you get down to the end I use some nail glue. I put some nail glue right here and where I'm about to twist it up. And I twist over the nail glue. And then I take another small piece, you know, something small, to like just go over the nail glue because I want it to be super secure. I like it to be like kind of disheveled like I don't like it to be perfect that's why I like you see me like pulling stuff down because I don't like it to look too perfect I like it to look you know like a real look this is how the root looks just focusing and it looks nice and flat I don't like the bulky look that's why I don't tie it too much right there but this is how that lock looks so now I'm gonna finish off these and I'm going to do it kind of, I'm going to do it in like a two times motion just so you guys can see. But not really explaining, it's just going to be voiceover. Before I do that, another don't, don't put too many braids. I had put too many braids at first, so I had to join braids together. And sometimes I put too little braids, so that's why I did too many this time. So let me show you guys how to extend the lock before I go into the finishing the rest of my hair so here i have two 18 inch no these are two 24 inch locks right first you find the loop of one of the locks the loop you know how to have the loop end and this end and then you find the ending part of another lock see the ending looks like a little ringlet it's not focusing but it's the end of the lock so you undo the end of the lock and you have two pieces just so right and you have the loop of the first lock just look what i'm doing two ends you put one of the ends into the, the loop right and then you just tie it when you have tips this is extra super hard i had to do my full locks with tips one time it was a no -go. and i just do it twice right and then y'all know how the lock intertwines one way and un unwinds this way so you unwind it and then you rewind it so that the hair could get stuck don't know how to explain that but unwind and rewind right and then this side unwind one way rewind unwind it and you rewind it with a new piece and then you just go like that Sometimes I put glue because I like it to be perfect. And you cannot even tell where the lock has been extended. Now it's one big crazy looking lock. Like imagine this in my head. This is a 24 times 24. Let me show y'all. Wow, this would be absolutely insane. I would never want that. So yeah, that's how you guys extend a lock. This would be a stupid 48 inch lock. I'm gonna just speed into the rest of the video, finish off the top part, and come back with the finishing result.
that was the finished product if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys comment down below tell me that you liked it if you try out the hairstyle make sure you guys tag me in the hairstyles i know a lot of people tell me they try the hairstyles that i do on my channel and they don't tag me i want to be tagged i like to see i like to promote i want to put it on my chat on my story on instagram you know so i hope you guys enjoyed this look i love full locks i think it makes me look so beautiful and my forehead is looking super big right now obviously because i just did my hair and i ain't slicked my edges but as always, make sure you guys come back for my next video. I'll see you guys in my next video.